Okay, <clears throat> this is kind of the one of the magic parts to this then that I think is, is kind of neat. Um, I basically said, okay, I've, I've got just a certain part of this project that um, I need to do subgrade work on. I'm going to retain this pavement here. So I pulled those points into um, a new pavement traverse. I did that a long time ago back here in the parking. So here's my um, new pavement. Okay. And and I, I needed this for the pavement contractors anyhow. Um, we needed to determine how much pavement we were going to need so we can get a bid item and uh, the church can put together a budget for this project. Well, I just uh, duplicated that and uh, created this traverse down here called Finish Grade New Pavement. And the reason I duplicated that is I need to come in and play around with this a little bit. So I needed to come in and uh, say I need to do two things. One is I want to move these points onto this finished grade surface. So I'm going to leave the X, Y where they are, but I want to put the the elevations on that surface. And so I did the, the transect command. I said, right click, surface tools, transect. Now, the great thing about this is that I can left click a transect object or a traverse. So I just left clicked this finished grade traverse. And what that did, every place a traverse point was inside a surface triangle, it figured out the exact elevation of that point in that triangle and adjusted the elevation of that point. So that brought every point in this traverse up to that, that finished grade surface. All I had to do then is come in and match up the grades here at the edge of the existing pavement. 